G'day and welcome to Tim's YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing some work on my 80 series Land Cruiser. I'm going to be changing over a few parts so don't forget to um, subscribe, like, feel free to comment and thanks for coming. Stay tuned. Okay just a close up to show you what's happened. I've taken it out and I've put two bucket seats in now and I've got the gap in the middle all right we've already replaced this side bucket seat now what we're going to do is the three-quarter bench seat on that side and the seat belt so that we've got all new seat belts and new seats and you can see the the new bracket for the seat belt for the new one that I've just bought and fitted so that's gone all of that seat belt stuff there for the middle bench will go and then we'll have just a nice brown seat so we'll have two bucket seats center console but I'll put the center console in another day and the cover for the handbrake I'll put in another day but for today what we're doing is we're changing the seats and the seat belts over so um, here we go all right so what we're gonna do and do this stuff and then we're gonna put the seat belt Do the seat belts so we can get them through. undoing the seat belt fitting in the back on the floor here so that I can take the seat belts through because we're not going to be using that anymore and as I said before undoing the seats and removing the seats is the quickest and easiest part of the whole process doing the seat belt is the thing that takes the time Because as you can see now, that is seat belt totally undone in a matter of minutes, and it's out in a matter of minutes. Right, back again. As you can see, the seat's out. I've now got the new seat belt assembly. So what I did last time is I did the same, I'm gonna do the same again. Right. Just have to get a screwdriver to loosen this off. Alright, that's that one. One says the passenger side because I've asked for a little bit longer because I've got a passenger that I pick up that um, has a slightly large belly than most of us. So what I've done is I've ordered a special seat belt to an extra 200 millimeters longer to fit him. So that'll help him get around his belly because his belly's a little bit on the fat side. Just don't tell him that, all right? And if you know who my customer is, oh, you just be quiet. Well, I shouldn't say customer, he's my client. Because I do, um, I work for a disability job, uh, disability service for disability and aged care. And uh, this gentleman is um, a little bit on the larger side, shall we say. So 
Yes. Alright, now, I'll just take the top cover off. Sometimes you need a little bit of force, but not always. More so, not so much force, but a bit of persuasion, shall we say. Just gently take it off. Take your cover out. And this one actually has I don't know if you can see it or not, but it actually has the bolt in place. So someone's done something to that other one and um, changed it. So good to see that this one's got the actual bolt in it. So we'll take that out with our little shifter. Or what do we need? Probably 10 mil. See if I'm right. 10 mil. Look at that. What a guess. One thing I've learned about working on Land Cruisers, 10, 12, 14, 16 are your main main fittings. Helps if you put the right one in, doesn't it? Yes. There we have it. That's the old one out. Alright, so we'll get the new one. And we'll see if it fits in place first. Right, once again we need to bend that plate. Alright. So we'll bend that plate a little bit. spot on. Back in place it goes. Alright. This time we don't have to go and find a little bolt because we've got one. Always, always make sure that your straps are all nice and straight. Because if they're not, that's when the trouble starts. Alright. Like I said previously, go away your airplane. I said when I was doing the other one on the other side, I always do them up with a socket first by hand, get them up hand tight, and then I do them up with a socket because that allows me to get them in the right spot and tighten them up to where I want them to be. So, it makes it a whole lot easier 
because it's less winding to do. Like it's a Russian pan. Sweeper, get rid of any rubbish and stuff. Anytime you pull it apart, like I said, anytime you pull it apart, always give it a bit of a brush. Give it a clean. If my wet rag when I can find it, there it is. Give it a bit of a clean because you don't know when the next time you're going to be in here. So a bit of a damp rag and give it a once over. Give your floors a wipe or whatever while you're at it. Doesn't hurt to give all your mats a quick wipe while you're here. Like I said, it's probably the only time you're going to be able to get to do it. Because other times you've always got everything else in your way. So, oh, you got all this out. Over. And um, you're good to go, usually. So, yeah. Alright, so I'll get this out of the way. So now I'm going to do it all up. Put all tight, nice and tight. That one doesn't have to be super tight, but the other ones do because the other ones are the ones that hold you in place. Extension back on again. This one's a bit different to the other one because this one I can get the plate in without the backing, so yeah. Alright. So once again. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This time it doesn't. Ah. <sighs> 
Sometimes you get lucky with them, just slide them in over the top. As I said previously, watch your fingers because it does bite. So he doesn't want to play the game, so we have to play he does it the same game. Be careful with your fingers, because I have seen other guys get their fingers absolutely squashed. And I can tell you now, it really, really hurts. I haven't experienced it, but the guys that I've known have said it bloody hurts. Right, before we do it up too tight, give it a wash. Make sure it looks all nice. Make sure it works. Bingo, look at that. All works nice and neat. That's the main thing. back to putting the seat back in. That one's a 10 mil, and don't want that one. And here's the new second hand bucket seat. Whoop whoop. This is the crowd. Alright. Two bolts in first. Just to line things up a bit.
nice. Back one's in again. Gonna go and clean this bolt up. Uh, as you can see, when it focuses, this bolt's a bit yucky and a bit rusty and so forth. So I'm going to take it into the workshop, give it a bit of clean up. Bit of, once over in the grinder, clean the thread, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. If we can get some, see, I've cleaned up the thread. And I've put some oil on it to help lubricate it to make it go in better. want to see that just go on my YouTube and have a look and you can see how I made it and how I fitted it. Alright, look at all that space I've got now in the middle of the car. Good word. Look at that, all that space. Got rid of that crummy bench seat. Those bench seats are a nightmare. And these are going to be so much more comfortable. And now I can put a console in the middle or a fridge. I haven't decided which one yet. Oh, that's 
obviously going in better than it was when it was coming out. Better than it did the first time. Done it. Don't you hate it when you're doing something like this? You put the socket down, or you put the extension down, and then when you want it, it's in the back seat. You've got to crawl back and get it. There we go. Two seats, seat belt round, clicks in place. Look at that. Woo woo! Yay! And it goes back in place. Alright, happy with that. Put the fire extinguisher back in place. Alright, and there we have two new bucket seats in the car in um, just on three hours. That's not too bad from start to finish. So, woohoo! Okay, so um, there we go, just over three hours and it's all done. Hey presto, bucket seat one, bucket seat two, and we've got a whole lot of space in the middle now. A lot better than what it was. Now I can put a centre console or I might put a little fridge in there. I haven't decided what I'm going to do now, but um, that's a hell of a lot better than what it was. Okay, just a close up to show you what's happened. I've taken it out and I've put two bucket seats in now and I've got the gap in the middle. See, all the way now, two bucket seats. I don't care what the, they're brown and the rest is grey. I don't care because I probably have seat covers. But now I've got space to put a console. I'm going to change that uh, handbrake cover over. See, I'm going to change that because that's all ripped. I've got one of those and I've got the console that goes in the middle so I'm um, just going to decide what I'm going to do leave it like this for a couple of days and um, see how it goes but that's two new seats second hand seats and two seat belts brand new front, aftermarket front seat belts done thanks for watching